CNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have a bit of a mixed bag out here. That mix goes like this. The Dow's off 80 points. That's about three-tenths percent. The S&P is up, well, it's really flat. It's up two points. NASDAQ is not flat. It's up a half a percent or 53 points. Russell's down one-tenth of a percent. That's two points, the downside. Semis are up one and six-tenths. They're the big loser out here. Percentage-wise, they're off 43 points. Gold's down 10 bucks. Silver's off 42 cents. Lights we crude down a buck 43. Natural gas off 50 cents in the 30 year treasury. Trade out at 137.07. That's up one point and eight ticks. Let's go spend a little time with our cash indice charts out here. Well, first, let's uh, do this. Let's just uh, reiterate we've got confirmed by the D put patterns inside the Dow, the SP 500, the NASDAQ 100, the Russell 2000 is not, it has not attained. It's one-to-one -one price projection, but it did form a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom for its equity future contract. The semiconductor, they've got a confirmed bottom out here, as does the New York Stock Exchange. So now let's go switch over and take a look at our white background chart. So we'll see here levels of resistance that are in play. And those are the oscillator and change lines. Those are those red lines out here on our charts. And what the Dow has done is tested and rejected that level. And the rejection says as long as you're below that red oscillator and change line, you can get back and retest the uh, support level that was established by that Three River Morning Star that says you absolutely could get back. Uh, as long as price remains below that and test whether it's the high or the low of the June 17th area. And that's really applicable to each of these. The S&P 500, though, is testing that oscillator and change line. It's pretty much sitting on it right now at about 37.63. A close above that is going to suggest that what the S&P 500 wants to do is make it up to its recent highs. The NDX 100, price has been above that red oscillator and change line for the last three sessions out here. That is signaling its intent to move up to the 12.8 area. In the case of the Russell 2000, uh, the oscillator changed on to 1707. It's kind of gotten up to that level out here. If you look at the semis, they've got a TD9 count bottom. Price is still below a red oscillator change line. Hasn't tested that. But nonetheless, it's trading also inside that swing point from June 17th. You've got a TD9 count bottom inside the Dow Transports, but they also really have to overcome that red oscillator change line. At 13.056, NASDAQ Composite looks bullish because price is above that OUL. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. Have a terrific Thursday. Please join me tomorrow morning. We'll begin recording the show, the Trader's Ed show, that is, uh, from 8 to 9. Really, I think it's about 8.06, 8.07 to 9. Have a terrific Thursday, folks. We'll see you on Fantastic Friday.